Thanks for joining me for our little Pilates class this morning. Okay, if you want to use any equipment, be my guest, pick up some weights if you want to. Uh, we might use a stretch, I'll, I'll, use, I'll use a stretchy band to do the dumb weights with when we come to that. Uh, and then just we can do the rest with that. So just a short class today. So let's get set up with our feet hip distance apart. Align your joints, ankles, knees, hips. And then find your neutral spine, find the neutral pelvis, with your aces bones and the cubic point or bone. Cubic bone making a triangle towards the floor. Lengthen through your spine, elongate, decompress your discs. <sighs> Relax your arms, bring your shoulders down and back. Feel the chest open slightly there. And you just feel the muscles in your upper back just working a tiny bit to stop you from slouching. Back of your head's in line with your spine as well. Let's inhale through our nose and exhale through the mouth. Feeling the breath go wide and full, lateral thoracic breathing. Think about our center, those deep core muscles, the deep abdominal muscles. Just ever so slightly waking up, switching up. And then we'll go with some shoulder rolls. Let's roll our shoulders. Start to warm up around the neck, the back, the chest, under the arms, into the shoulder joints. Feel your shoulder blades move towards each other in a way, circling around on your upper back. Okay, relax your shoulders there. Let's take your right arm up to the ceiling and then down. Or up to the sky, and the other one, down by the side. Can we exhale as we lift and inhale as we lower? Keeping the ribs drawing down without them flaring up. And both arms together. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Balls the feet, start to engage your glutes and raise your heels and then down. Rock forward, squeeze your bottom and then down. Tuck your tailbone down towards the floor. You can tuck the t shirts in a little bit. <laughs> so you use your glutes to help keep the pelvis stable. Okay, add your arms again. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower that heel raise. You can do single heel raises if you want to. One more. And then firmly plant your feet into the floor. Side bends. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, side bend to the right. Inhale, centre. Then exhale, left and centre. Warming up around your back, down the sides, your oblique, your QLs, spine mobility, disc nourishment. If you want to, you can take an arm up and stretch over the top. Two more to go. Step forwards with one foot, raise your back heel up, tense up your glutes and step back. Heel strike the floor, raise your back heel up and bring it back. Raise the arms up to shoulder height and step back. Think about pelvis staying neutral, stable. Right leg forwards, hold it there, bow and arrow right. Get that rotation of your spine, then step back. Side forwards left, bow and arrow to the left, and step back. Squeeze your bum, rotate, rotate.
One more right, one more left. So we've got some good movement through the spine there. And all that fluid around the joints and into the discs. And back to your neutral standing position. So let's do some hip hinges now. Place your hands behind your back. One hand on the other. Okay, push against your hands with your bum and hinge from your hip. And then squeeze your glutes to come back up. And again. band, grab one, place that across your palms, so we'll combine the dumb weight with a bit of balancing, or you can kneel down if you'd rather, and do some little lean backs, okay, get your hip distance, 
So elbows under the shoulders, wrists in line with the elbows, palms up, take an inhale to prepare, and exhale to stretch your band, keeping the elbows in. Okay, once we've got the band going, pelvis stable, centered aligned, raise your right heel, and place it down. Raise the left heel. Can we lift the right leg up? Balancing. Can we take the legs out to the side? Slide it out or raise it out to the side. Squeeze your elbows in. Take both hands to either side of one leg and stretch the leg forwards. 
Ten swaps each side, off we go. Switch. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, look down. Six towards the belly boy. Seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten. Hug the knees in. Double leg stretch. Now you can keep your head on the floor if you want to, or you can curl up at the same time as you do the leg stretch. So have a look if you want to first. I'll give you two options. This is option one. Head stays down. We'll take the arms all the way over the head and then circle round back onto your shins. Option two, you curl up, but you just take the arms almost to the side of the head. Then you sweep them around and your head comes back down. Let's do 10. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, go. One. Two. Three. Four. Feet together, knees together. Five. Still drawing down with the ribs. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, ten. Well done. Scissors. Straight leg. Climb up one leg and send the other leg forwards. Straight legs, pointed toes. Knees are locked straight. Or if you need to modify it, you bend your knees a little bit. But you don't want it to be that last exercise we did. We still want it to be scissors. Not single leg stretch, the difference. Okay, you ready? So one leg up, one forwards, tuck your chin in. Are you ready? Let's go. Give it a little pull. One, one, two, two, three, like shears. Four, tuck your chin in. Five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten. Well done. Woo. Ready for the hundred? Knees and feet together. Extend your legs up. Nod the chin, curl up. Reach forward. One hundred presses. Five steps in. Five blows out. Off we go. Let's inhale. Two, three, four, five. Out. Two, three, four, ten. In. Two, three, four, five. Out. Two, three, four, twenty. Out, two, three, four, thirty. Lower your legs to work harder. Forty, in, two, three, five. Out, two, three, four, fifty. In, two, four, five. Out, two, three, four, six. Two, three. Out, two, three, four, seventy. In, two, five. Out, two, three, four, eighty. In, two, four, five. Out, two, three, four, ninety. In, two, four, five. Out, two, three, four, one hundred. Feet down, stretch out, well done. Woo! And breathe. <laughs> okay, take the arms out to the side, bend your knees, feet together, knees together. Check your feet are on the centre line of your mat with your spine and the back of your head. And we're going to go for hip rock. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, take the knees to one side. Turn your head the opposite way. Inhale, bring it all back to centre. Exhale, to the side. Inhale, bring it back to centre. Exhale away. Inhale, back in. Exhale away. Inhale, back in. Whew. If you want to extend your top leg, or even lift both legs off the floor to work harder. Go for it, be my guest. Make sure you've got complete control. So I'm going that's one of your principles. So if you're up here, make sure your shoulders stay firmly down. You're not losing control at all. You can 
push the bottom leg against the top one as you're coming back up. Inhale, lengthen, 
and exhale, you come down. You feel like you've lengthened further forwards on your mat. Nudge, lift, lengthen. Okay, you can take the hands down to the side of the legs. Turn the palms in, nudge, lift, you can float your arms. Lengthen, reach your arms for the back, and exhale all the way down. Nudge, squeeze your elbows in. Exhale, lift. Inhale, left hand. Exhale all the way down. Nudge. Lift. Left hand. All the way down. You can bring the hands to the temples on the side of the head. Nudge. Raise the arms, squeeze the shoulder blades, and all the way down. Nudge, raise, lengthen. We can take the arms forwards, we can come up, we can reach and lengthen, and then bring it in as you come down. Two more. Lift, reach. One more, lift, reach, and down. Bring the hands up to your head and roll your hips side to side. Can you get hold of one foot? If you can't do it on your tummy, roll onto your side. Head rests on the, on the forearm, knees on the centre line, and push your hip into the floor. Hold the heel to your bum, push your hip into the floor. And release. Let's sit back into our shell stretch. Feel that stretch in your back, around the back of your hips. Walk the hands to the knees, give the shoulders a roll. And come up to kneeling. Take your right leg forwards and let's hip flex a stretch on the left side. By pelvic tilting, so tuck your tailbone under and you'll feel the stretch in the front of your hip. And on that front leg and reach over the top. Ah, oh, well done. How are you feeling? Have you enjoyed that full blast? Change sides. Pelvic tilt. Or reach over. Step back. Okay, onto your hands and knees. We're going to finish. With 10 press ups and a chest stretch, then we'll come up if you can. Or you can put the band behind your back. You can take the band around your back and do chest presses instead. Place the hands under your shoulders. Okay, you ready? We're going to inhale down and exhale lift. Here we go, 10 times. One. Two. So that's a box press. So three quarters, take your knees further back. Three. Or full ones on your toes. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. And ten. Sit back and stretch. Walk the hands to the knees. Put the hands behind the back. And squeeze your shoulder blades together. Stretch open the chest. 
<sighs> Bet you weren't expecting those at the end, were you? <laughs> and then start to work your way up to standing. And bring yourself back to hip distance apart. Just ignore my mat the way it's laid out. <laughs> okay, the foot pedal. Feel your pelvis. Is it stable, centered, aligned, neutral? Okay, the heel that's up, the opposite arm goes forwards. And let your arms swing. And let your body move so your spine rotates. You can just keep looking straight forwards. Well done. Okay, shake out the shoulders. Take a deep, deep breath in, raise your arms up, stretch up high and out. And again, two more times. One more. Take your hands together, take them down through the middle. Take a little bow. Well done, give yourself a clap. Thank you very, very much for joining me. Hope you enjoy that little blaster. It's a little all the body workout there. Well done, I'll see you again soon.